The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? It feels like it's better, it's better with you. It's better, it's better with you. This is true. It's better, it's better with you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Me. And it's an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. Yep, I'm your sweet baby brother, Griffin Oh, I forgot McElroy. Big Dog Woof Woof. Okay. Oh, it's broken. The curse is broken. No. Now that we year. finally hit the year, and we've actually in a year about a dog with no bones, and we really fucking nailed it. And yeah. then there I go forget. Ugh, okay. That's okay, but you can never say it again. That era I'll, in your I'll life I'll find is, something different. Yeah. So I was listening to, and listen, I don't want to promote an, another podcast because as everyone knows, all comp- podcasts are competing all Thank the time. You. That's so right. So we'll call it uh, Schmed Schmeis on yeah, Schmed okay. Gum with Schmoner Schmatliff, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is actually inscrutable. Uh, oh, it's, yeah, it's even as somebody eyes. who knows what you're talking yeah, about. It's yeah, the yeah. podcast Dead Eyes. And there was an episode where they talked about, like, child actors, right, who had played younger versions of Tom Hanks oh, in movies. And it got me thinking that a lot of people talk about, like, if they made a movie about your life, who would play you? And people always think about, like, younger actors or, like, actors their same age. But I want to ask you guys, because uh, I think – the next move, the next big step in like biopic or biopic movies is yeah. to make movies about people who are still alive, but what we think they're going to do when they get older, mm. right? So kind okay. of Future fictional, biopics. nonfiction, yes. And so who would you want to play you as an older, like if they made a movie about you right now, but yeah. at like 75, looking about all, all the awesome shit you did in the next like 40 years. Right. Who yeah. would You're irritated you. by the fact that this is kind of like, it's actually a pretty good idea. Hey, thank it's, you. It's it, like just, but I don't think it, I always get fr- like, I feel like there's a, a level of idea that's like podcast good. You yeah. know what I mean? Where it's like, we can just kind of dump it out here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this Shove is. Shove it out of the yeah. moving car. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be Kirk Cameron. Wow. Um, controversial pick, Griffin. Um, I don't like, I don't, no, 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 no. I don't like the guy. Like, I, I, I find, I find, you love his, him. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. You, you look at him and you're like, yeah, sure, Griffin. He was funny in Growing Pains. And it's like, no, this dude says, really funny shit all the time yeah he's uh, andy kaufman level as committed to this weird character he's, he's been playing so into it um even yeah. his even his sister candace Cameron is like anyway you guys know my dumb shit bro <laughs> yeah and stinker. she's also kind of in on the joke though huh a little bit she's yeah. kind of in on it a little bit see i was thinking for me and maybe this is just wishful thinking but i really think he and i share the same energy i'm just gonna say brian cox because i think when you see brian cox you think like that's an old travis McElroy. but like i said maybe that's wishful thinking and and i it's probably not that is it no it's probably not no fisher Justin, stevens what about- might be a good travis he, here's the thing with this yeah. question travis is i could say literally anything i could say literally anyone because who the fuck knows what i'm gonna get up to in 40 years? Well, but at this point, Griffin, I mean, you're what? You're 34 at this point? Yeah. And so I think you have, you can look at yourself at like 12 and see the progression of 22 years. So I think you could right now say like, I think at 56, we've aged your baby to an adult and this is what we think he'll look like kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think sure. you can probably extrapolate where you're going to be. Um, no, I don't think so, but I think Kirk Cameron's a good start. Okay, bold. A bold choice. 
Um, Justin? Hmm. Adjusted McElroy type. I'm trying yeah. to figure out who's got like he, the heat. Justin McElroy energy, you yeah. know? Yeah. Who's like my, like, it's sort of like, I mean, who's like got adjusted, like, who's got like a genuine, like, I feel like everybody's saying Def Patel for yeah. like a Justin McElroy energy that the I'm sort not of sure, charisma, Justin, sexuality, handsomeness. Yeah. Can I just sort say of like though? a Dev Patel, t- sort of like, sort of like a Dev Patel type. In there is house, one yeah. problem, Justin. I'm not sure he's older than you. I think that's the one issue that I'm having well, with Travis, that casting. Travis, he is an actor. <laughs> this is okay. true. Yeah, he can play so, age. Now, Justin, if now, I might take like a Kumail Nanjiani, like, body. Yeah. yeah. Like, more of a Kumail body with, like, a Dev Patel face. Yeah, and, no, and I the see the sexuality that. and chemistry and, like, the handsomeness and stuff. And now, yeah. Justin, I'm just going to throw this out, and this is a, a bit of a different uh, direction than Dev Patel. But, you know, if we could get Streep, that almost guarantees an Oscar. Mm. You know what I mean? Get that Oscar buzz going if we could get Streep. Yeah. Um... It would be great if what a challenge for her. I know what a what a departure. You know, Streep, if you want to do something that's going to get people talking, you know what I mean? Yeah, because Um, she'll have to really dig deep to find the charisma within her to match your energy, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I kind of a Dev Patel level energy and sexuality with a We could do street, like, uh, what was that? Um, what was the uh, uh, Bob Dylan movie where like they had multiple actors play him? We could do uh, that with you, Justin. Mr. Emporium's yeah. Wonder Emporium. Exactly. Or the, <laughs> magical, have... or the magical boat of Dr. Parnassus. Exactly. The very cool. exact kind of thing. Because it's just called Doctor Who. <laughs> like, I don't know. No, I think it's called Sky Captain in the Worlds of Tomorrow. But I think we could get because I would like to see I here's here's the lineup, I think. You go yeah. Glenn Close, then you go Streep, then you go Glenn Close and Streep together, like True West and how you like trade it off. And then you go a Dev Patel. And then you're gonna bring it back, uh like who's a hot child star right now? You know, we're gonna have like uh Tremble. John yes. and Nikki. We get oh. Lim Nikki in there, maybe a Tim- Timothy Chalamet. We get all of them in. And it's yeah. but here's the thing. They're all talking to each other. It's all just it's oops, all Justin's. It's all Justin's. That's cool. That's cool. What would be really cool is if in 40 years the thing Justin's best known for is not these podcasts, but that like, I don't know, he invents uh a, a, a hat that smells good. So when you come out of the bathroom, you don't have a bathroom smell behind you. You wear yeah. the, you wear like a, your your good smelling bathroom hat. And then you get Glenn Close out there like, it's my bathroom hat. And yes. you're like, is that actually Justin? Or uh, I'm confused. Is this one of those CGI things? What What is hard is like the best chance I have of being depicted in a film at this point. Yeah. Is if somebody does a berries and cream movie. <laughs> that's yeah. like my oh, best. Okay. That's my best shot to get into a movie. I, I feel like a Justin McCarthy character into a movie. Like... Okay, see, for yeah. me, I think the best hope of getting a Travis McElroy biopic is probably some kind of whimsical, but definitely still, like, fairly serious crime spree, where it's just, like, mm, okay. where people are trying to understand, like, where it all went wrong kind of thing, but also I have a certain charisma, much like, uh, you know, that movie where it they were robbing banks, but everybody seemed to like them a lot. You know that one? Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah with that jazz now musician, Bruno. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would, uh, I feel like there's also a decent chance I might be very briefly depicted uh, in, if they did Rocket Boys again, yeah. about oh, yeah. the West Virginia guys that did Rockets, if they did Rocket yeah. Boys again, and at the end, they wanted to be like, and there's still people in West Virginia today. It was just like me kind of like. Yo, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm here too. There's That's actually a very good ass. chance, you know, in, in that there will be a biopic of like Lynn that we might be depicted in. And if that happens and Lynn, you're like, you have any voice in it, please make sure it's just three really ripped dudes. Just <laughs> yeah. fully jacked, like six foot eight. Like hunks, you know what I mean, yeah. right? Because sure. you want it to be yeah. accurate, hunky, hunky guys. We're three hunky guys, and we do a podcast together. What kind of podcast, you ask? Well, it's weird that you just started listening sight unseen, but like, 
Okay. Hey, good. Pre- good. Appreciate it. Maybe I it was just that. on. Maybe somebody's sitting in the tire discounters like waiting room right now. <laughs> and all, it's playing. Yeah, the, they don't yeah, have their exactly. headphones on. They're just somebody playing just it through. Somebody switched from the view to our podcast. Yeah, it's streaming to their television or something. It's Welcome. An advice. It's an advice show. Why, why isn't there a podcast channel? On TV? Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Um. There's lots of channels, you know? Yeah, right? Almost too many. Sometimes I'm scrolling through there and I'm like, what's what's all the? There's like eight HBOs. You know the channels I like on TV? I don't have them anywhere, I don't think, or at least I have is music choice. Oh, yeah. I like yeah, that yeah. there's a, where your TV's like, I could play music. <laughs> it's like, I know TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you play whatever song I want? Um, no. I can come match a vibe. <laughs> but like, do you want to hear like some Weather Channel jazz? <laughs> yeah, 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 actually I, I do. But that. without all the trouble of the weather <laughs> being there also. Yeah. Um, I work for the US snowboard team. Hell yeah. Cool. My role, in short, is to use wax to make the boards go fast. Like oh, in yes. um, Christmas Vacation. Oh, for sure. So You funny. know what I mean? When you yeah. use this as a non-nutrient varnish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my job is inherently nerdy, and I'm, it sounds cool to me. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Yeah, that. I don't pretty know. Pretty fucking cool. If yeah. that's if that's nerdy, then I'm I'm a hun- I'm a thousand percent that Minkus. Yeah. I just got a D. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, 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 my job is inherently nerdy, and I am spending time with a lot of rad athletes who do rad stunts. I don't like dangerous stunts. How do we become rad? That's from Paul and St. Paul. Well, that's a good hook. Yeah. Yeah. I think, <laughs> right there. I think when I first read this question, what hit me, Paul, if I may, I think that you have, one, a fundamental misunderstanding of what is rad. Yeah. Um, but sure. your second, view has been skewed. Yes. But you got too close, to, like Icarus. You know what I mean? Like you got too close to, to true coolness. And you've kind of lost perspective a little bit. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Like, this is like, I bet that there are top level, like, high school varsity baseball players that, like, look at, you know, people in the MLB and they're like, I'll never be that. Well, here I am looking at you, varsity player, thinking, I'll never be that. So don't you worry about it. Mm-hmm. But I, I also think, Paul, what you have to understand is these snowboarders, this is their day to day. Right. Yeah. They're they are so used to doing dangerous stunts and seeing other people do dangerous stunts. I don't think that counts as rad to them anymore. Mm. But when you start talking about this cool board wax that you use and how the science works on it, that's what's gonna blow them away. They that that's what's going to be impressive to them. Yeah. Or you're gonna have to get good at rad stunts. It's one of those no, two. I don't no, think you don't want to do that. Um That's you, not rad to them. What you know what I mean? Yeah. I you think know, if, if I could suggest one quick thing, you please. should start going by St. Paul. That's pretty good. That's, that's cool, right? Because it is cool. your name's Paul, and just start getting people to call you St. Paul. Now, that's that, cool. That might be misleading, though, Justin, for people who first meet St. Paul. That they might be like, Holy it's like a shit. hook. It's sticky. It's I want to know sticky. everything about this sticky. Yeah, boy. yeah, for sure. Who is it? Yeah, but what if they're really a saint? What if they get sainted later because of like cool Saint wax Paul, miracles? Keep up. This is easy. This oh, is easy. Right. Saint Saint Paul. Um, I think in high school, you know who was cool? Not not me, but follow me. Um, okay. All the all the athletes. Hmm. Sure. Yeah. But who was second coolest? Theater not, kids. Not, not the equipment. Fuck no. Oh. Not the equipment manager. I, I kind of said it with my fingers crossed. I was yeah. really hoping. <laughs> but it was the kid at the lunch table who would eat anything you can put in this cup for $1. Ah, oh, so uh, cool. For so, all like the, the right coolest, reasons, too. Right. And so it's just sometimes while you're waxing their boards and they're like definitely micromanaging, like, mm, did you wax the, the middle? Uh, you just scoop some of that wax up and you just take a big bite out of it. And they're like, Hol- what the? F- holy shit. Did you just eat some of that wax? And it's like, mm. yeah, I did. Why do you think I'm so good at this? Me and the wax are one. And they're like, whoa, have you talked to St. Paul? He eats board wax. You got to see that <laughs> shit. I feel like you have. Dude, when you said the sentence, have you talked to St. Paul? He eats board wax. Did you realize that you had absolutely deep six this human being? Like you have absolutely lowered their stock. I don't think no 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 because then they're that kid eats that kid eats paste that kid eats board wax they are two awesome very similar and they started calling themselves Saint Paul 
Right. That's actually that. May- Is that because of all the board wax they've been eating? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's probably. hallucinating. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> By the way, I never saw anybody eat paste my entire, you know, school sorry, career. Uh, but if I did, I would want to know more about that person because that's a yes, that's a Griffin. Level of but courage. not. I, I think once again, you are only thinking about the interest, but not perhaps the kind of interest you would yeah, have. Yeah, it would be a really quick, like, hey, I noticed you're eating pace. Like, yeah, I'm kind of a pervert. It's like, okay, yeah. got it. <laughs> awesome. I, I don't think that you would have a moment of like, I'm interested in this kid on a really deep spiritual level. It doesn't have to be interested in a spiritual level. You're just trying to be cool and kind of yeah. m- mysterious. But right. not eating, I feel like eating things that you're not supposed to eat is not, it's rarely it's like. It's not cool. It's not cool. Unless you like, Unless one thing that I you tried can't to jump, do, you can't right hop, skip, and jump over an unless like that. Unless, unless when I was in middle school and high school, more high school, I think for like a year or so, I tried to be cool by having a habit of keeping a thumbtack in my mouth. Remember this? Huh. You, remember, you guys yeah. remember this move? Unfortunately, like, I do. I did. I would like have a thumbtack in my mouth, like the pointy side out, right? And I just have like. Chew on the plastic in. And oh, that's like, uh, that's bonkers, cool. juicer. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I hadn't said it. Now uh, at least it's just between us three. <laughs> yeah, no one's right? ever yeah, sure. it. yeah, it's just like it was a. I don't mind to be open about the ways in which I tried and failed to, to look cool, to be, be cool. cool, look cool, be cool, seem cool, sound cool, act cool. Not uh, any of it really. Yeah, because it worked out. You know. Yeah. Inspirationally, I mean, sure. Um, I really, really killed the mo there well, with Justin, that little I'm revelation. Just, uh, it's, I'm it's sorry. It's weird now as an adult to retroactively be weir- really worried about my teenage or older brother. Like that I wish I could go back in time and just say like, hey, bud, hey, you're pal. cool enough. I'm trying to own myself as a holistic person. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? I don't need to be. That's not a different me. That's the same me that got us all here. Oh, know? that's weird. Yeah. Cause the I same was me that they let drive my kids yeah. around in, yeah. uh, in a vehicle, you know? Um, it is get- fun. I think that you should be able to, like, when you're, like, I don't know, filling out your taxes or whatever, there should be a spot where it's just, like, you list all the actual dumb decisions you made. And so mm. then when you're, like, late on taxes, they're like, I'm just glad we got it at all. Yeah. Did you see what this guy did when he was, like, 14? And, oh, my God. He ate a bunch of board wax and then yelled that his tummy was now a snowboard. And, and then, he yelled, <laughs> then he yelled, hop on, get ready to flip. And I was like, I don't. I don't think flipping is like the main thing in snowboarding. Um, but at that point, he was already grinding on every surface in the office. So, And he was slippery. He was that. Um, can I do? Can I approach the wizard humbly and pros- pros- prostate myself in front of him? Uh, yes, but I really think you need to look that up before we record again. Yeah, I don't think that that's exactly right. What? Unless you want the wizard... To stick a finger in your butt. No, 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 no. I don't, I I mean, no, 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 no. I don't want that. Um, so here's, this one was sent in by uh, Teo. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, how to look gothic without your parents getting upset. Ooh, we all, yes, and we, please. We all, you know, have gone through and or are still going through this stage of our lives. Yes. And we all struggled with it because we were like, you know, we watched... Uh, Edward Scissorhands, yeah, or Def, 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 yeah, The Craft, or um, The Craft, or just too, like still, uh, still, Adam's still, Family. Adam's Family saw that. We're like, I would love to just sort of just chomp Raul Julia's style right now and be yeah. that. Yeah, um, but then we did it. We were just like overnight, wham, bam. Thank you, thank you, ma'am, and came downstairs, and we, you know, we're perfectly cosplaying. As as Gomez Adams and our parents were like, no, that's too much. But here is how to really do it without upsetting your parents, because that's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Part There's one, nothing goth about upsetting your parents. Exactly. <laughs> Part one, dressing goth. Transform yourself at a slow pace. Uh, uh, oh, embrace a systematic like plan to look goth over an extended period. Incorporate clothes that identify you as goth one piece at a time and over many months. Create a six-month plan. Um, Because it's like the easiest way to boil a frog, or by which I mean your parents. You just, they look at you one day. Why are you boiling your parents? 
you're eight months in, your parents are like, wait a, wait a tick. Hold up. Uh, hold up a second. You got a different sort of, uh, different flavor today. Hey, Jeff, Debbie. Jeffrey. Debbie. Has Griffin always looked like this? Because, yeah, like, it, I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, is that new? But then when I'm, like, remembering Griffin for the last six to eight months, I can't remember a time where he didn't kind of look like this. Are we okay with this? Are we okay? It's I too guess late we must now. Be. Yeah. Uh, incorporate some bright colors into your fashion. Well, well uh, by incorporating wait. some bright colors, you'll send the signal that, although you are goth, you are not going overboard. Mm. You can still You're look, easing in. Yes. Don't it, rush it. No, it's savor it. Enjoy it. This is these are your final days as a normie. And so you can, you know, enjoy, enjoy that until you are ready to fucking, you know, party. Party with the vampires. Uh, you also need to be able to back off of it if it's not like landing for yeah. you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you need point. to be like, no, I don't think I was goth. That doesn't yeah. sound right. No, don't you remember yesterday? Like you came into school and you were like fully kitted out with like, you remember. It's like, mm, no, um, I don't. Are you okay? Here's a good flip. Dress somewhat conservatively. While Wait. the color scheme of your goth style might frighten your parents, you can temper this by embracing a somewhat conservative approach. Um, the picture I am seeing here is uh, uh, two people and there's a dude who is wearing like a, a very sleek blazer over a black button-up shirt with a black belt with some black pants and his hair's done all good and mm -hmm. there's a lady with the same sort of fashion going on and I, I just am imagining one of us as a teenager walking downstairs in our in our you know vampire going to a wedding outfit and just being like hello hello mother and father <laughs> don't worry about me i'm goth now <laughs> uh, well it's time to go to work yeah but, gotta go i gotta shift at tcby today I this think is, if your kid's goth, you got to cancel work that day and just talk through it. you got to understand it. Where's yeah. it coming from? If nothing else, you just be like, okay, because when you go into the world with other teenagers, they might be kind of shitty to you because that's how it works. And I'm, listen, I support this 100%. I just want you to know that there will be assholes out there who will not. And we're going to talk through this and get and, this right. And to be clear, it's not because you're dressing goth. It's because you're wearing a full suit, a full yes. men's magazine cover suit to your eighth grade class. You <laughs> yes, cannot. you have swung hard into what I believe is called executive goth. Yes, exactly. And, executive and perhaps goth. you want to start as a more casual goth yeah. and then only do executive goth on, I don't know, like standardized testing days. Like weekend goth is is pretty impactful. It's what awesome. if you found what if you saw one of your teachers at TCBY? Yeah. And they're a weekend goth and they're like, Ooh, you too? That's nice. good. Or that's you could awesome. do I think it's called like fitness goth. We're, fitness yeah. goth is that one? Yeah, and you're like wearing like black tracksuits and stuff, and it's still very gothic, but you're also yes. ready to get out there and work up a sweat. You could also do old old fisherman goth. Oh, that's where, a good one. Where you you know you sort of fuse those two things together, um, and that one will confuse people a little bit. So they'll be like, "Who's that old old fisherman?" And you'd be like, "No, it's 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 me." I it love was me. Who's romance. that old fisherman who looks so sad? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so sad, but also so fucking cool. Yeah. Um. There's a bunch of boring shit after that. Let's get into accessorizing. Focus yes, on gothic that's accessories. What, that's where it is, right? Yeah. Because like, if I saw someone yes. in a black t-shirt and black jeans, I'm like, okay. But then what's that? A spiky wristband? Oh, okay. Yeah. It it uh it could be uh J J K Simmons if it's just that like a tight yeah. tight black t-shirt tight pants like you don't know it might be goth is that's a fun game we could make that a game on this show is it goth or is it jk simmons yeah. we don't actually know if he is part of that lifestyle i anyway, hope he is actually yeah i do too uh I want gothic that for themed him. accessories can help you transform your existing wardrobe into one with a gothic flair yes. huh i had a big bowling shirts face in high school mm. i I wonder if I had tossed on. I want to call this episode "My Brother, My Brother, and Me" revelations. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if my brother, my brother, and me a retrospective. If I had maintained that look and also worn dark scarves, jewelry like snake bone hairpins, a spider ring, a bat bracelet, then it just says belts. Yeah. Well, we all well, need right. belts. Yeah, that's uh, just practical. But here's well, the trick: sometimes uh, you skip the belt loops. It's just the belt. Just the belt is there as its own like cool. tiny hula hoop. That's cool. That's and that's so fucking goth. 
That is so um, fucking goth. This is if we've learned anything from the fact that fitness goth exists. Yeah. Goth is kind of like I think the fashion equivalent of like steampunk is to storytelling, where yeah. it meshes well with pretty much anything. So like I could take say my phase in high school where I wore button up shirts, dress shirts, and tear away exercise pants and dance shoes and add some goth accessories to that. And now I'm embarrassing goth. You know what I mean? Yeah, it just sure. ties it all the theater Shameful kid goth, goth if yeah. you will. But Travis, by the way, yeah? I'm sorry for how much I bullied you in high school. Even I know I actually think you didn't bully me enough because like yeah. I did that for a long enough period that um, some some older girls had an intervention for me. Where oh, they said, like, nice hey, you whole. seem cool. You got to stop with this. You got it. This look. You gotta, your pants. You're, you are in public. Your pants should not tear away. Yes. This you was be long like before just... there were, uh, you know, the, like flash mobs. Yeah. And so maybe I was just ahead of the curve. You don't know. Huh? Um, yeah. I'm. I, you can be like me and just kind of like stop evolving your style at 16. Just yeah. like get to 16 and be like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. Fine. Justin. Jeans I'm, and a short sleeve button down. I got it. I'm going to push back a little bit because you did, I would say, inject some Disney dad flair in there yeah. later in life. That was that's kind of, just a circumstance of where I happened to be when I needed a shirt. That's like, fair. That's, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, my, yeah. you know. <laughs> that's a good point. Well, I would argue not my that fault. in high school, Juice, you had yet to receive the Jimmy Buffett blood transfusion that transformed you into the man you are that today. Was actually when you're a young, dowry. you don't need fucking island vibes. You're on island time 24 hours a day and you don't even realize yeah, this you is need the cool irony of, of life. Of age. You may be li listening to this right now and you you might be in your house the days. So you don't need, he, you know, Jimmy says, take the weather with you is the name of one of his albums. Mm -hmm. And right, that's you do that when you're young. You don't even think about it. With When you're older, you got to work at it a little bit. It's still attainable. Um, avoid beautiful. dying your hair black right away. So oh. fucking, yeah. okay, Make that one. Yeah, you know? It's too late. I already I already did yeah, that. Yeah, I already did that, I assumed. Make that one. Yeah. Um, because that's that one's gonna that's one that's gonna, gonna get you. Might I recommend purple? Yeah. Much better. Uh you'll still ruin a lot of pillowcases and hey, white t shirts. Are you Trav? Yeah. Are you goth? Oh man, Trav, are you are no. you goth, Trey? I'm, hey, no, 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 no. Like, I think about I it. Understand the, I understand the impulse, and there's like zero judgment here, obviously. No, I'm oh, emo. I'm Michael. a lot more emo than that. I'm uh, like, a, like a dad emo, like emo dad. Like a scenester dad is what Yeah, you that's a lot yeah. more of my thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Because like the music I'm listening to is like Panic of the Disco and, and Fall Out Boy, where it's much more like elder emo. Wow, Dan Trev, you're girl. not kidding. That yeah. really is sort of your set. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, guys. Hey, we've known each other for a long time, right? But I've never really thought of myself you, as someone who's living like life with an emo brother. When, when, I mean? So like, when I, I have really purple hair it. and like mm -hmm. eyeliner yeah. and like I'm wearing, you know, like a, a, a suit with like a, a little like bird skull lapel <sighs> pin, yeah. you're just yeah. like, I bet Travis is. It seemed like okay. more like a costume than an expression of your authentic nah, baby, self. This, but this now I feel like you're costume. living it. Yeah. Man, my pro you know, my problem, and I feel like this is something we could all learn from. My problem is that I think of you too frequently as a person first mm. and labels second. Oh, that's and I a feel mistake. like we could all do do well to try to think of people in terms of labels. Yeah. And yeah. And then as a person second. Because you know I'm what working I mean? really hard to show my label and people are like, yeah, but I don't want to talk about that. And it's like, but that's all I want to talk about. Um, <laughs> Please. I'm gonna hop forward. Don't get any tattoos or piercings. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then we're gonna move on to part three, Fuck. which is I'm assuming by the way that they will tell me when it is okay to dye my hair. Yeah. <laughs> they have to circle back on it. If you're gonna delay me on it, and I'm eventually I can get tattoos and piercings, right? Someday, yeah. Yeah, I think could you do a um an ombra, I think is what it's called, it's where you an ombra. just get a little bit of the hair dyed black. Mm. And then your parents will be like, Is he going is his hair going wait, it's not going it's gray. Ombra? What's going on? Um so part three, behaving well. Wait. Be true to yourself. You don't have to change your Which one is it? Yes. Um, be true to your best self, I guess. Uh, step two, and this is an awesome one for like any one of these like lifestyle things. And it's uh, number two, get good grades. Yeah. Oh, man, they should put that in. 
can I say they should put that in literally every yeah, Mickey house? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like how to live like Goku, and it's like it's just to practice meditation and get very well, strong, I, and then it's got to be like, and then get good grades because that's awesome. You're gonna learn stuff and have better opportunities, and your parents will be very pleased with you, even though you're living <laughs> that full blown Goku lifestyle. Uh oh, man, avoid friends who get into trouble. Yeah, you don't well, want whole, What is going on on this list? I feel like somebody's grandma wat- wrote this. Yeah, well, right? Okay, I will like, remind this you. This whole that the, list the, is the, sitting backwards on a no, chair. No, 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 Griffin. Yes, please remind us, Griffin. The name of the article is How to Look Gothic Without Your Parents Getting Upset. And so this one's like, if you did dye your hair black and you got six lip piercings and then you found this article, you'd be like, fuck, 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 fuck. But then you get to part three and it's like, hey, it's okay. Just get good grades. And that's really going to knock this out of the park. Don't have friends who get into trouble. And it shows somebody, guys, and they're smoking a cigarette. No. Oh, no. No, thank you. Yep. Stay away from them. This day and age? What are they going to do when they get on a long airplane flight? Yeah, exactly. Final one, show respect to your parents. The way you look might alienate your parents, but the way you act and talk to them is more important. Um, But here's the Kobayashi Maru. If you're like, Mom, Dad, I know I have a different steez now, but I love you both and I respect you. And they say, we love you too. Please go back to cha- to dressing the way you used to. And you can't be like, I respect you, but, f- but fuck no, I look so cool now. You don't even get it. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling down tail 24-7 <laughs> with <Hulk. laughs> You don't understand. Parents just don't understand how much tail I'm pulling with my new gothic style. Because it can't be like the last step in this is like, go back to normal if your parents wicked don't like it. You know what I mean? Like you could have good grades and get rid of your smoking friends and be true to yourself and all that. And they could still, even after all that work, be like, go change. Go change immediately. No, here's what it is. Griffin, 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 Griffin. First, before you do any of the style changes... You start to get bad grades and hang out with kids who smell. Oh my God, Travis, yes. And then as you transition to the goth style, yeah. you start to clean up your act. And they're like, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's really working for them, you know? And they see Turn it as like around. they're connected. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It's like, it's like when Justin got blonde highlights and yeah. and then he started wow, living Wow, I didn't clean. even volunteer that. I thought, I thought it would be okay because we're all just sort of dishing, dishing out the scoop. And this is just yeah, a, but this but is a private hasn't episode. Hasn't it felt more like a self-dish so far? Hasn't it felt like that so far that it's more of a, a self-dish? Like a self-serve, eat, you know, eat what you want kind of deal. No. Yeah. I think Griffin's right. Justin, anything you want to say about Griffin? Yeah, it, it, no, I love my brother very no, come much. Come on, dude, blast me. No, blast I don't, me, dude. You don't want to talk about when he bought the red goggles from Hot Topic and his friend Evan bought the green goggles and then they switched one lens of both so they had red and green goggles each? Yeah, that's just because he was going to see a 3D movie later that afternoon. Do you want, no, I definitely wore them at school. Uh, but <laughs> and, at, and at theater practice. And at theater practice. Rehearsal. But are you, are you, they're called rehearsal, Travis. Um, but uh, how are you going to blast the coolest thing I've ever done in my life? That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't really want to blast you. I love my brother. Okay. You did try to get people to call you Andy that one time. Yeah, that's true. That in depth. Well, but, I also hey. tried to get the nickname Shades going at church camp. This is all stuff that we've talked about on this show. We've been doing it for a billion, billion, trillion, trillion, trillion years. Yeah. Uh, let's take a break and make some money, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And then we'll come back and do some other things. Good. You guys know what? I just built no. a website on Squarespace yesterday. Did you? I did. What is it? Uh, it's, I'm working on a new podcast that I'm executive producing called Chasing Immortality, and okay. I wanted to build a website for that, and I made- What's the website address? ChasingImmortalityPod.com. Okay. Um, and I think it's a, I mean, it's, listen- it's oh. it's nothing. To, it's oh, not like the new. Travis, I'm really worried about. I'm Charlie. I'm really worried about you. Did you just call Why Travis Charlie? Travis, I'm really worried about you. No, I Why combined two words. I'm really worried about you, Travis, because this that? website looks so expensive. Oh, and Justin. that you must have spent so much money, um, getting a professional to design this website. Oh no, Justin, 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 you yeah. dumb piece of shit. I <laughs> made it myself in about like thirty to forty minutes. 
You're kidding me. No, you stupid asshole. Impo- I made it's- it. Charles, you don't have to talk to him like that, Trevor. Oh, you're right. You're right. Hey, you uh, silly Friends, dude. in case you... I should I should clarify it for the bit. Squarespace is great. Travis actually did not work very hard on this website. <laughs> and I am going to need to take another pass at it. <laughs> yes, I did. I am going to take another pass at it. But I needed something functional <laughs> so yeah, that I could sure. get started. And the thing, the bigger point, Justin, that I was trying to get to is I realized as I was making this one, it's like how many websites I have used Squarespace to build for just yeah. kind of off the cuff, like ideas I've had. Off the and, cuff indeed. And okay. <laughs> I know they have beautiful customizable little templates created by world class designers. I don't even have the copy up, and I know that. There's many options you could have gone with here, Travis. Listen, Justin's right. Don't let my work <laughs> ethic reflect the quality of Squarespace. <laughs> you don't even have to work that hard. They have beautiful customizable templates. They do. And it lets you sell products and services of all kind and everything's optimized for mobile out of the box. But I am a lazy turd. And I was yeah. like, this has links. That's good. Uh, they have analytics to help you grow free and secure hosting and nothing to patch or upgrade ever. So go to squarespace.com slash my brother for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code my brother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Squarespace. Anyone can make a website, even a dumb shit like Travis McRoy. Hey, wow, hey. Squarespace, that's their... No, that's your tagline. That's their tagline Travis, is printed right there. It's, this isn't a failure because you are a dumb shit. It's just that you were kind of lazy and you didn't work yeah, very thank hard. Thank you. Very hard. Hard. Can, I, can we move on from this? This is kind of a weird energy. Yeah, I like to, okay. Do you need to mail your brother's garbage website to the dumpster factory? Well, look no further than Sam's.com. It's a way to skip the trip to the post office, dodge all the, the hectic Halloween traffic, and uh, save a little time and money at stamps.com. I love, I'll, hey, listen. Yeah? Nobody lives at a post office, right? Well, but you can. I bet if you got somewhere stamps. there is, like somewhere like in a small town. Unless you count like the 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 one that's on a, that I heard about um, where it's on a boat. Yeah. You know what I mean? A boat. It's like a, a boat. boat. boat they, there's one that's like a boat that like. There's like boat ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, right, 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 right. Of course. But anyway, nobody lives really on a post office, but you can. You can turn your house into post office stamps.com. Cool. You have discounts. Can't find anywhere else. 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS. Are you kidding me? That's, that's a lot of no, I'm not kidding you. That's a lot. You can save time Add and those money together. That's season. 116% off. If you mail a package, two packages, one using USPS, one using UPS, Add that together. That's 116% off. Amazing. Amazing. Save time and money this holiday season with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code my brother for a special offer that includes a four week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code my brother. Did you say a digital scale? Yeah. A, di- a Digimon a, a diri- scale. It's a dirigible scale. You can put. <laughs> It's a didgeridoo scale. Oh! Put your didgeridoo right on there. Hey, kid. Your dad tell you about the time he broke Stephen Dorff's nose at the Kids' Choice Awards? <laughs> In Dead Pilot Society, scripts that were developed by studios and networks but were never produced are given the table reads they deserve. When I was a kid, I had to spend my Christmas break filming a PSA about angel dust. So, yeah, being a kid sucks sometimes. <laughs> Presented by Andrew Reich and Ben Blacker. Dead Pilot Society, twice a month on MaximumFun.org. You know, the show you like, that hobo with the scarf who lives in a magic dumpster? (laughs) (laughs) Doctor Who? Yeah! I have lots of fish tanks, one of which is on my bathroom vanity. The problem is that my bathroom is where I get dressed every morning because closing the blinds in my room takes effort and I am lazy. Travis, you can certainly uh, relate yep, to this. I sure do. Consequently, my fish sees me naked a lot. Is this inappropriate? Huh. Hmm. That's some fishy business. There is no way that a fish of any level of intelligence could look upon the human form and parse it whatsoever, right? Not only are, are we like comparatively gigantic to them, yeah. so many of the parts are different. 
Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't contextualize it. I don't even know if a fish has a has a, a bemis. Soul. What? Yeah, too. I mean, listen, they got eyes and mouth. And as far and as heart. I could tell, the well, I just meant externally mm. parts that they can like look at us and be like, I know those are eyes, but what the fuck are those? What's it would be the rest of it. That's ev- like elbows, fingers, shoulders. I'm not even getting into any of the like, you know, the stuff that are covered by clothes. Like, I mean, I can't, I mean, we could just start here. Okay. Fish is naked. Fish is naked. Fish is absolutely naked. Fish is naked. Fish is naked. Fish has always been naked. Fish is naked. All fish doesn't even understand anything else other than naked. Yep. Wait. Except for well, the first time your fish sees you naked, your fish is like, okay, I get this. Can yeah. I tell okay, you guys something? This I can get into. It just fucked me up. What? Don't Google this, but think right now. Are scales fish's skin or are the scales covering their skin underneath? Are the scales skin yeah. or are the scales like hair? The scales are scales because it's fish. You yeah, know? but I mean, like, what's the what's the corollary, right? I don't. The, th- it's not, you don't need to meta. You don't need to turn it into a metaphor. It's just scales, bud. But are the yeah. scales the skin it's different? Are, is there skin <laughs> under the air? scales? <laughs> bud, are the rocks their taxes? Think about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> Listen, you're being flippant because you don't know the answer. And now they're fun. being flippant, they're fish. That's true. That's yeah, they're being lippant. <laughs> I just threw a die across the room. I was thinking, I, I was thinking, you were talking about how fish is naked. When mm. Don Knotts turns into the incredible Mr. Limpet, first of all, he turns into a fish, a real shark tail ass looking fish that looks a lot like Don Knotts, but he also has glasses on. So he's do, not completely nude if you think about it. Do you guys ever think that we talk about uh, Mr. Limpet so much that maybe we have thought it into existence and it is not a oh, real movie? Really, actually, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, probably. Because when you think about it, it is a movie about a man who wishes to be a fish so hard that he turns into a fish and then helps the U.S. government spot uh, like sea, like mines in the sea yeah. to protect submarines in the war. Yeah, man. What a badass. What a complete badass. And then I think this man turned fish has relations with another fish? Yeah, definitely. Definitely does that. What a movie, that. you guys. And this what is for kids. Man. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's got a, something for grown-ups, too. Yeah. Travis, you just got a fish tank. How do you feel about showing your... your uh, I did it day your, one your to hymer. establish dominance. Okay. <laughs> They were probably mm. pretty wild and out in there, just like, what's this new place? Oh, look, there's rocks. This water tastes different. Look at that big ass. <laughs> I- <laughs> Is that dude Evo or what? Whoa. Like, what's his vibe? He's got purple hair. Like, Whoa, a butthole. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Why is he showing me this? <laughs> Fish got buttholes. Fish are not going to be freaked out by buttholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I bought the fish from my fish tank, the person uh, at the pet store said, like, that you had to put them, you know, in, in an opaque bag to drive them home or else it could, like, scare the fish too much because it's the equivalent, and this is a, qu- a quote, the equivalent of an alien abduction to them, in quote. Yeah, definitely. Have you seen Nemo? And then I started thinking about how much farther that concept extends, where, like, if someone picked up me and put me in another house... Inside someone else's house, I and it started. It started to get too much for me. I couldn't handle it. Yeah, I don't blame you. Dun, 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 dun. Huh? Huh? Dun, 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 bah, bah. Weird. I want to munch. Squad. I want to munch. Dracula out a little bit in there. I didn't. I didn't mean to be Dracula. I was like, it's Italian. Oh, oh, cool. I try to make it sound like Italian. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Wait, is Dracula not Italian? Dracula Transylvania, bud. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. The garlic thing um, probably would have been a bigger deal. Yeah. Um. Okay. A new temptation is born. Oh, fuck. Okay. The passionate kiss burger to enjoy oh, with no. every bite. Say that 10 times again. The passionate kiss burger to enjoy with every bite. Is it brought to you by Gene Simmons? Hmm, what restaurant do you think is brought to you by? Mm, oh, good question. I'm going to say, hmm, Red Robin? Interesting, Griffin. Uh, the Passionate Kiss Burger? Passionate Kiss Burger. 
It's got to be not one of the main ones. I feel like it's got to be a wild one like Dairy Queen or something like that. Oh, no, wait, hold on. I'm going to say Olive Garden because you said Italian earlier. No, I mean literally Italian. A new irresistible temptation stemming from the creativity of Colonel Sanders. What? The Kiss Burger, now available in all KFC restaurants in Italy. Whoa. Whoa. Is a chicken sandwich. It's a bad start, Italy, but go on. (laughs) Chicken sandwich <laughs> for your burger, prepared according to the Colonel's original and secret recipe, topped with double cheddar cheese, mm-hmm. crunchy bacon, and two delicious onion rings. Great. Enjoy every bite with the passion of a kiss, because pleasure knows no obstacles. Wait, 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 wait. Not even topped with onions. Now, Justin, I, I want you to know I listened to every word you just said. Mm-hmm. Are you telling me that yeah. the entirety of the name Passionate Kiss Burger yeah. is a lie nope. because it is neither a burger nor has anything to do with a passionate kiss except that one might enjoy it with the passion of a kiss? Yes, this is what I'm saying. It's a sandwich that bring, uh, the, it's a kiss kiss burger. What part of that the, don't you not understand? Shrek? In the advertising film, and yes, it is a film, Colonel Sanders talks about the new burger in all its delicacy, a sandwich that brings you closer, that unleashes passion for kisses in couples of all ages, ethnicities, and sexual orientations. With onions on it. The launch campaign of the new burger plays with the cliche of the onion. Oh! Which could turn people away after eating it. But Colonel Sanders' recipe is so good that it has the opposite effect. Every bite of the sandwich triggers the desire to share and rediscover the pleasure of being together. That's from Paolo Tafano, head of marketing and communications at KFC Italia. Um, is it a, sorry, you, I, I think I, I didn't pay attention there for about three quarters, three quarters of a second. Mm -hmm. And now I don't know if this is a movie or a chicken burger. Right, so it's both. It's a sort of transmedia experience where it's kind of a burger that they've adapted into an advertising film. Yeah. A 30-second advertising film. Right. Once again, we wanted Colonel Sanders as the protagonist of the commercial. Uh, He is the best testimonial for the message we want to continue to share. At KFC, we are all the same and invited to enjoy the chicken. Okay. (laughs) At KFC... We're all the same and invited to enjoy the chicken. I love that. That's- the atmosphere, the sharing and welcoming experience that we offer at our restaurants. Also, debunking some cliches like the one about onions. Is that a cliche, though? What's the, cli- because- what's the onion cliche? It do make your best stinky. It's but the recipe of passion for this burger that's chicken is so powerful yeah. that it gets you fucking horny oh oh i see oh i like that i like that this one is a burger that's what they're saying and guys this is kind of hard for the yeah it is sorry trav you were kicked off the podcast for a second oh sorry yeah 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 you said hard and we're talking about getting horny and so i connected you said i lost you again oh sorry i lost you again can you try to (laughs) yeah can you hear me now i made it sound like a boner Okay, guys, I'm going to send you a link. Don't watch it yet. Oh, my goodness. Okay? And you at home are going to watch this, too. How are you sending it to us? I'm going to slack it to you, baby. Oh, topical. Don't watch it until I tell you to. Oh, my God. I want to watch it so bad. I I know, but I'm going to start the music so people can enjoy it with you. All right? Get it loaded up and get ready to start. I'm ready. Are you ready to start? Go. Da KFC il piacere non conosce barriere. Prova il nuovo Kiss Burger. Filetto di pollo preparato secondo la mia ricetta originale segreta. Doppio cheddar, bacon croccante e due golose onion ring. Qualche problema con la cipolla? Perché stare lontani dalle tentazioni? Nuovo Kiss Burger, come closer. KFC, Chicken United. Can you, play just, oh, like, yeah. can you play just the come closer bit? Oh, Kiss Burger, come closer. KFC, Chicken United. 
It's so great. That's yeah. It's really, People really good. And yet, were you guys actually extremely surprised by the horniness of that commercial? Yeah, dude. Because if you guys Google KFC Kiss Burger, because we probably, uh, man, we'll, we'll probably tweet it out and include in the episode links and stuff. It's like a very horny commercial. Unabashedly, this is not like your sidelong glances or your implied. People are full on tonguing each other. Yeah, they're tonguing hard. Um, yeah, this is like KFC is trying to establish itself as like the new like makeout spot that like oh right, hey eat this burger get totally revved up and then yeah. taste each other's tonsils my dude is this now I understand why they're all like talking about how onions have a bad taste and smell to them yeah because they're assuming that you are going to be chowing down on your partner's face. Moments after consuming this big burger. Because of not consuming. Because of consuming, Griffin. That is important. Yeah. This is not like, this is not, the, the burger is not superfluous to the experience, but rather integral. Without yeah. it, you are not going to be chowing down on each other's faces. Yeah. Hey, cool commercial. Uh, did we talk about the fact that there's about a thousand scenes of people kissing? Like deeply, deeply kissing. Not just one couple, mind you. Lots a lot of, of couples. couples. Maybe they, um, it, it, they're like they love the burger flavor. They're kissing the burger at the same time. Yes. Like it's a, one of those like cool three way kisses that you see in like cool movies that people do, where it's like me, my my beautiful wife, and a chicken burger in between us with the stinkiest onions I've ever been close to in my life. But I do like the idea of each other's stinky breath making it okay, right? We're eating the same burger. So you know what? We're all the same here at KFC. Everybody's wow. breath is stinky. So let's yeah. just enjoy it and get into it. Yeah. Uh, cool commercial, Juice. Thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah, it's very good. It doesn't look like a very good sandwich. but Fuck there you. Were, but there I would were cool eat the hell words. out of that. It looks good as hell. I'm really hungry, though. Yeah, yeah that's also can. true. It's about lunchtime Perfect. here. It's also really funny because there's 319 comments on this video that's been viewed 6,000 times, which is quite that's a, a quite huge a ratio. Comments. That's what and that's KFC like 20%? Italia. <laughs> KFC Italia has uh, put a comment on the on the top of it that's like, "Hey, everybody, please be nice." <laughs> This commercial is like, Kamsi, you have the power to turn current comments off. And Kamsi is like, no, no, no. Everybody gets their say. No, freedom yeah. of speech, freedom of speech. But be cool. Just please be cool. Um, Man, that was a good, that, I never want to, I don't ever want to kiss again. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, I think I'm done. I have, I've had my fill. They my don't proxy. address choking hazards in this at all, do they? Yeah. Hey, how come their colonel is maybe the handsomest older gentleman I've ever seen. A oh, very keep, legitimate. Like, so we sexy. We keep fucking bouncing around. It's like, here's like Kevin Nealon for, for some reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for listening to podcasts. This one specifically, this podcast, all podcasts are equal in my book. Yeah. But all all the listeners go to the same place. Really? Right. Yeah. Into the big podcast hole. Um, very, very, very exciting news. Uh, a lot of things actually. So first, We've got the Adventure Zone live and virtual show this week, November 5th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Tickets are $10. It's another episode of Hoot Nanny, uh, all about the intergalactic country band Hootie and the Nannies. Uh, you can get those tickets at bit.ly slash Taz Virtual. And even if you can't make it Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, video on demand will be available for two weeks after the show. We've got new merch up. And listen, we've got a Wizards of the Cloud pin of the month. We've got a Candlelight ornament. That Wizards of the Cloud pin of the month, by the way, designed by Dana Wagner. Uh, and it benefits Native Women Led, which revolutionizes systems and inspires innovation by investing in Native women in business. The Candlelight ornament is designed by Kate May and benefits Harmony House, which is an organization to end homelessness in Huntington area through permanent housing and supportive service programs. Uh, we've got the Candle Nights mug there, which is similar to a, the Adventure Zone stoneware mug, but it has the Candle Nights logo. But we've also got, for the first time, Till Death Do Us Blart merch. We've got a Till Death Do Us Blart shirt, which is designed by Tyler Reed, and the proceeds from that benefit the First Nations Development Institute, which improves economic conditions for Native Americans through direct financial grants, technical assistance and training, and advocacy and policy. 
So that's all cool. Uh, we've got tickets for the Emerald City Comic Con show on sale now. My Brother, My Brother and Me on December 2nd and Taz on December 3rd. Both shows are general attendance, so there's no assigned seating, but there will be ADA seating available. You do not need an ECCC badge to buy tickets to these shows. Uh, Emerald City safety protocols require full proof of vaccination or recent negative COVID test to attend. You can find the full safety protocols at bit.ly slash ECCC safety. I think there's seven more seats. I think there's about nine to 10 more seats. Yeah. In addition, masks are required while on the premises and capacity will be reduced. More info, including the full health and safety procedures, as well as ticket links, uh, is at bit.ly slash McElroy tour. Also, one last thing. Uh, I have uh, been working on a show for a long time now that I created and executive produced. It's a podcast called Chasing Immortality. It's narrated by Tybee Diskin, uh, and it is the true stories of people throughout history who have attempted to cheat death in a variety of uh, strange ways. Uh, It is a single voice uh, kind of narrative podcast all about these true weird stories. Uh, If that sounds interesting to you, and I hope that it does, you can subscribe by going to bit.ly slash chasing immortality or search chasing immortality in your podcatcher, or as previously mentioned, going to chasing immortality pod.com and attempt to not judge my effort level, but rather find all the information there that you need. <laughs> it's going to be hard to not do the first thing, though. Yes, I understand that. But please, please, yeah. I've got a lot going on. Thank you to Montaigne for the use of our theme song, My Life is Better With You. A uh, fantastic track. We're so glad um, that that she crafted that for us. Um, so yes, I, you gotta, I know there's probably people who listen to the show who don't listen to the things we ask them to do. You got to go listen to Now in Space and watch that yeah. video. I've, so I've watched, yeah. I've listened to it like a hundred times. It's it's a top bop. She did one with Card, uh, Tom Cardi too. Yes. Uh, called Red Flags. Oh, so she seek that out. Very, very good. Yes. Yeah, so thank you, Montaigne. And thank you to Maximum Fun for having us on the network. Uh, glad, glad to be here. You, do you want the final Yahoo? Yes. Cool. This one was uh, sent in by Cranston, Brian Cranston. Whoa. Uh, yes. Thank you. I had no idea he was a listener. Uh, he's not. Oh, just sent it? Yeah, he just sent it anyway. Uh, it's asked by Yahoo Answers user Fron- 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 Franken- Frankenstein. Fron- hmm. Frankenstein, uh, okay. which is the original. Frankenstein. Yeah. Uh, and this one, it says here specifically it is the monster. And to not be a, like a jab oh, off right, about right. it. Okay. Uh, Frank, Frankenstein asks. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it's um, his son, it's definitely going to have his last name, right? Yeah, that's a Anyways. good point. Well, you would, what's his first name? Char- Charles Frankenstein Jr. asks. Um, does anyone know? Does anyone know? a place to buy ha- Halloween costumes for an eight and a half foot tall, big, strong, big, strong man. No masks that cover the whole head because of my special bolts that <laughs> honest to Christ, I swear to Christ, I do not know why those are there. The rest of me is all body parts. But for some fucking reason, my dipshit science dad (laughs) put these fucking bolts in there. Please do not suggest I go as myself or some sort of different Frankenstein. I'm the real deal Holyfield. And I want to be one of the Paw Patrol. <laughs> my name is Justin McRoy. I'm Travis McRoy. <laughs> I'm Griffin McRoy. <laughs> this is my brother, my brother. Be kiss your dad square on the lips.
MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.